So who doesn't love a good sandwich? Today, National Sandwich Day. All right. I, I am very excited to talk about this because I am quite passionate about sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Understandably. All, is it all about the bread? Is it all about the meat? Is it all about the ratio? So many questions. <laughs> Personal chef Sarah Lang is here to make some sandwiches inspired by Herbert and Gerbert's, uh, some of their favorites. Sarah, what, what's the number one key as far as you're concerned? Okay, so when you're working with a small packet, like two pieces of bread, the most important thing is to make sure that there's nothing but bold flavors going on inside your sandwich. So every ingredient in there has to serve a purpose, has to be flavorful and fresh. If you love it by itself, you'll love it together on a sandwich even more. Okay, so you have a couple of sandwiches here. First one is inspired by Herbert's and Gerbert's. Tell us about that one. It's kind of your own take on this one. Yes, so this is my take on Herbert and Gerbert's famous Meatzilla cheesesteak sandwich. Now, this sandwich is in honor of National Sandwich Day, which is today. It's going to be available in, st in stores on Monday, but if you're like me and you can't wait that long, I'm going to show you how to make this delicious Meatzilla cheesesteak at home. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. All right, so this is what you do. You take your bread, layer it with some mayonnaise. The first thing you need is two slices of crispy bacon. Now we're gonna be piling on some more meat. First thing we have is cheese steak. So this is the delicately cooked, well-seasoned sirloin that's gonna give it tons of flavor in the base. Then, a couple slices of provolone cheese on top of that, and then a little bit more meat. We're gonna use some brisket here. So you can get brisket at your favorite barbecue shop already uh, done for you. Chop it up and put it right on top of the cheese. And finally, to finish our sandwich, a little bit of vegetables, some uh, sauteed onions and car caramelized onions and bell peppers go right on top. And then when you close this, the, the warm meat's gonna make that cheese melt and you have a meatzilla sandwich that is bursting with bold flavors. Oh, yum, okay. You also have a, a vegetable one right there next to you. Yes, so I love veggie sandwiches, especially when you're serving your family a meaty sandwich like the Meatzilla. I think it's important to have something a little bit lighter on the side. So I have a roasted vegetable panini here. So it's ciabatta bread that I smeared with Romesco sauce. Now this is a delicious roasted red pepper Marcona almond sauce. You could also use pesto, anything, anything works, any of your favorite sauces. And then just throw in your oven a bunch of, of um, onions, zucchini, some red bell peppers, and you're just gonna layer that on top of your ciabatta bread and with a little bit of extra romesco. And my favorite cheese for this sandwich is a goat cheese. Now a goat cheese is gonna be nice and creamy and crumbly. And when you put it on the, on the panini, it will actually melt in the panini press and give this whole sandwich a delicious sauce. So when it's done, you're gonna have this crispy top with these amazing veggies inside. Good stuff, Sarah. Looks terrific. Thank Thanks. you. We appreciate it. And yeah, Sarah's happy National Sandwich Day. You too. Yeah, same to you. <laughs> Sarah's recipes are at WCCO.com slash links.